All right. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Awesome. Let me, uh, going to log out of a bunch of things here. So I don't, you sound great. How do I sound? You sound great. Awesome. Okay. Are you sure are you just saying that? Um, Harry just said, let Jay know we can see him on the webinar. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's okay. It's not just a an audio, right? We want to talk, right? We do. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pause. This is uh, this is a uh, this is an important conversation, my friend. It is, indeed. and I think that um, maybe you could start us off with uh, you know we had a little conversation a few minutes ago about think of what's changed since ThreadX. You know, we had such a great event. Um, we were able to reconnect. We had uh, so many fabulous. Um, speakers and ideas and networking and connections and then here we are today right right in uh, in, a, in a different world in the uh, in the uh, zombie apocalypse right <laughs> so, i hope not but yes it feels <laughs> like it right now well you know and and that's the thing that people have to remember because yeah it's a different world today but this you know it's going to be briefly and 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 the marketing that you might be doing right now uh, might not be applicable anymore for for this time being, but but uh, um, you know maybe maybe you have to come out. You know you have to be smart. You have to be creative. You have to have to get in the door when other people can't. And you know Jay, you know this. this uh, th these are things that that we've talked about and we want to do anyway. Find find a different way to to approach right. customers. And and you know when I do my like my screen printing classes, I talk a lot about about you know, tips on not walking in the door and, and asking the receptionist if the owner of the company is there, you know, how, how do I get in the back door? And, and um, those are the kind of things that we need to think about right now. And, and, and uh, it is, uh, it's a, uh, a, a time where people are a little confused and, and the temptation is uh, I'm just going to sit on my hands and, right. and it's absolutely the worst thing that you could do. Is right. hundred percent. Well, which is, which is the genesis of why we wanted to do this today was to encourage people to not just stop, to pause for a little bit and to yeah. refocus. I get it. And things are moving so quickly right now that uh, it's important to stay tuned in a little bit, you know, without the panic, without the full fear mongering, without the full, okay, I'm done. It's over. No, it's not. It's not. And we had this conversation because you and I have both been through crazy times before 9-11 but certainly 9-11 sure. was a pause and a reset. And then again, we had a serious economic downturn, 2008, 2009. A lot of people were freaking out. Right. You know, you have that perspective, right? And so. Exactly right. What happened? Well, you know, I, I, again, did, did some people fall out? They did. The, the, the folks who, uh, who were mediocre at best at what they do. Uh, well, yeah, you know, you, you may not be prepared for, um, for, a downturn, you know, the, the, the folks that, uh, that do the job better or more creative about getting the customers, they're, they're going to succeed. And, and yeah, we, we saw some shakeout during those times, but you know, it was a matter of persevering and it was a matter of, of, uh, of finding new ways to, to approach customers of finding new ways to approach, uh, you know, how we do things. Maybe, maybe it's uh, reevaluating the products that we sell and mm -hmm. to make them more pertinent to today certainly it's a it's a matter of of uh of approaching our customers and you know i'll give you an example that uh justin at oklahoma shirt company he posted that hey we're still open for business but if uh if you want to have a meeting we're just, we're just gonna have a virtual meeting just like right. you and i are doing right now jay we're right. not in the same room um because i'm questioning whether you might have it <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I do. I feel fantastic. Uh, you know, I woke up just like every other day, excited about what's new, something to learn and a chance to, to talk to you. First of all, that's always a, a great start to my day. Not to mention, shout out for the two regular guys. You had an amazing podcast this morning and Thank I saw you, you I live. That. I was not able to see the whole thing because I was preparing for this. But, um, you know, maybe maybe that's partly how we could roll into our discussion is the, the concept of relationships. We should have been managing those and investing in those. And we, we should have been all along really focused on our top one, our top two, five, 10, 20, whatever that magic number is for you. 
But if you, if you know most shops, and correct me if I'm wrong, most shops have, I'm going to say 30, 40, maybe even 50% of their business is coming from their top five clients. Right. I would agree with that. And, and I know it's different for everybody, but just sure. for the purposes of this illustration and this example, I, if that were my, and it has been my case. I, in fact, one time I was way upside down and 70% of my business was coming from one client, which was the result of my personal panic when, when that client went away. So don't, don't do that. Now let's get, <laughs> let's get back to marketing. Um, the relationships I should have a personal conduit, a personal cell phone, a, a, even a home phone number for those top one, two, five, ten 10 clients. They should not be feeling any awkwardness or weirdness for me to reach out and call and say, hey, let's keep this relationship going. How are you? Check in, reassure, comfort, communicate, right? Wouldn't you agree that, that that's what I meant by we should have been doing this already? Right. And, and, and that's the, the, the folks that are, are prepared, that were prepared for this, not knowing it was going to happen, but people who had businesses that were, uh, well, uh, Pete Lovelace uh, was, was on our show today, and, and, and he's one of those people. I mean, he, his culture of his business was already prepared for this, not knowing it was happening. And uh, Pete, by the way, is with the Booster Spirit Wear. And and what uh, one of the things that he mentioned today, and I thought this was awesome, is that, you know, we've got a lot of employees who, you know, they, we, we, we don't want them to leave work and have to go stand in line at the grocery store. So, so we send one person to Costco and stock up on, on all the things that, that our, our employees might need, bring them back, set up tables, and whatever you take, you just Venmo the money back to the company. But, yeah. but it, you know, what a, what a brilliant thing that, that, again, he was already set up for it. Yeah. And, you know, maybe you're not, maybe you're not, but this is a wake-up call because this isn't the last time that something like this is going to happen. I mean, it's Correct. going to happen again and again, and you have to have your business prepared for it. And, and if you're not prepared, well, I think you have a little time right now to think about being prepared. Well, and let's use that time. Let's, let's segue that right now into what we really want to talk about. So for those listening in, thank you again for being here. We appreciate your time. We won't, we'll probably spend the better part of 40 more minutes, um, but we want to talk specifically about some, some marketing ideas, some, some strategies. So some of them will be big picture strategy and some of them will be smaller picture uh, tactics. And, and, they'll, and they'll be different for everybody because everybody's shop runs a little different. You have different you know, clientele, you have different customers, you have different needs and, and so on. But I think that we can cover a few of those, touch on a few of those. Um, as everybody knows who's ever been to one of my seminars, uh, by the way, all of them which have been canceled or postponed. So, um, <laughs> but the concept of, 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 of I don't want, I, I used to say, I, I'll still say it, rip off and duplicate. There's just no other better way for me to say it. That's exactly. my thing. I didn't invent it. But as soon as I heard it, I was like, man, that makes so much sense to me. When you see a great idea, it's your job to borrow it, to form right. it, to mold it and edit it into your world so that it applies to your customer base. So I want to make sure that we can do some of that so that those tuned in today can, can hear you, Terry, and rip off and duplicate some of these great ideas because you have a phenomenal relationship, Terry Combs, with so many business owners. You have done a fad, fantastic job as, as an instructor, as a coach, as a mentor, as a teacher. And so this is our time to kind of give back. We can't go pull the squeegee for people. We can't go, you know, load the shirts for folks. We can't go hoop, although I was never good at it in the first place. Hooping was not my bag. <laughs> they don't want your help. <laughs> no, they don't want my help. Uh, they're not that desperate yet. But what I think we do know, what you and I can bring uh, are some ideas, some strategies, some tactics. And so let's, let's, let's talk about that. Let's dive in. I know you, sure. you started with a little bit of a list of things that we might be doing differently now. Of course, we're going to have to be a new reality. But marketing, some of those marketing principles, trust, for example, that hasn't changed. In fact, it's more important now than ever. All right, exactly right. You know, you know um, Jay, this is uh, my, my first point, uh, and, and we're talking specifically about DTG, but this is appl applicable to sublimation and, and other decoration methods. But, you know, this is something that I've done 
basically since I started my business. And, and I started doing uh, this, by the way, Jay, when I was at a down point and, and you know, everybody's business does this. Well, right now, everybody's business is down here probably. Right. And, and this is something I did to bring in business. And, and as, as DTG decorators, it's the easiest thing in the world. And, and that is print up custom samples and either deliver them or mail them to potential customers or your own customers. And, and, uh, you know, I, I, Never one time when I did a custom sample, and what I'm talking about is getting a company's logo or or maybe they have a really cool catchphrase, mm -hmm. put that on a shirt and and give it to them or mail it to them and uh, and see if they don't come back and order product from me and and it w it was one hundred percent jay i never I never did a custom sample for someone who didn't place an order with me, maybe it was a small order, but you know today i'll i'll take two dozen small orders right <laughs> yeah, yeah right well and, let's you you made the point that we're talking specifically about dtg principles marketing ideas tactics etc of course this will apply to every every decorating technique however to your point we need to be thinking about the power of one we need to be thinking about printing one to make that one idea to make that one strategy and that one connection happen and so yeah, I'm with you. We, wh what am I trying to do? You know, I, I think we talked a little bit about this, trying to figure out, I'm trying to keep myself working for the next 30 days. What does that look like? And if I don't have anything in my pipeline or it all evaporated, how do I go find it again? Or where do I go? And it might start with one to your point. Exactly. And, 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 and maybe, uh, you know, just on your street, if you're if you're in a business location, maybe uh, and, and hey, if you're working from your home, working from your garage, working from a second bedroom, you, you know, there there's there are businesses close to you, and you know, grab those logos, put them on on garments, put them on a hat, put them on whatever type of product, and uh, and get them into their hands, and and you know, this is the perfect time to be out there cultivating new customers if you have time on your hands. And, uh, and, you know, a lot of people do right now, right. it's the perfect time to do something like that. Well, it's the perfect time to get in the door and say hi and say, look, I know it's crazy. I know it's bananas out there, but I, I believe and be positive and be, and, you know, share your convictions. None of us have the crystal ball. None of us know what's going to happen in 30 days, but I think we do have some wisdom and some perspective and some time to draw from that to say, I think we're going to be okay. In fact, I know we're going to be okay. It's just, we're going to have to work through this for 30 days, 45 days, 60 days. But guess what, Terry, people are going to have birthdays. Businesses are going to have anniversaries. Those conferences are going to come back. Um, so I love your point about getting out and saying hi to my neighbor and, and by neighbor, I mean, both literally I'm, a, <laughs> can I admit this? <laughs> I don't have new neighbors, but I got new neighbors. I like these people. They're, you know, I, I, I was able to go say hi. Somebody new moved in on my street and I was like, hey, social distancing, that's the new buzzword, but to say hello and, and let them know what you do. Um, let them know we're still open for business. We're still moving forward. Like you had mentioned with the Oklahoma shirt with Justin, um, you've got to promote yourself still right now, today, right? Exactly right now. Now I, I'm going to tell you, and uh, and Harry Oster at Equipment Zone uh, showed me this today. W when you do that email blast and you say, "Hey, we're open for business," don't send a picture that has one car in the parking lot. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's confusing. The mixed mixed messaging. We is a pretty broad word when we you have we yeah business. We're business is still open. We're open. We're moving forward. Um, and whether it's Harry or whether it's Justin or whether it's us. Um, and, it, and sometimes you're at home, hunkered down, and we all might be for the next 15 days or so, two weeks, whatever it works out to be. Promoting is important, and and that's a, a sign that you're here, you care, you uh, you want to continue to build the relationship, etc. So, uh, by the way, I just want to pause for those of you who want to maybe ask a question. I think Terry and I will have some time at the end. Feel free to use the chat tool, and you can ask a question. Um, you can make a relevant point as well. We're not looking for any co-facilitators uh, live, um, but I know so many smart people have already joined and, and, and probably have some great perspectives. So please use the chat tool and, and we'll see if we can't, I'll scroll through it towards the end and we'll, we'll, we'll make some, uh, some time to, to talk about that. So Terry, back to you. Um, thank you for uh, whoever just said, is it Amy? Oh, Amy, of course, Amy's tuned in. 
Uh, I'm glad you like that. Which one? The one on the back? The one with the mustache over there that says Arizona or the one that I'm wearing? Um, <laughs> because he does have multiple versions of that I same do, hat. I do. Yes, Terry, you have seen it live in person. So <laughs> tell us um, if that's your number one example or, or, or that was kind of you, you were starting your list, print custom samples, mail them to those um, key influencers, key customers. Um, well, you what, know, let, let me take it a ahead. step further. Yeah. You're talking about those five or 10 best customers. We'll reach out to them and say, you know what? In, in these times, you, you, you don't want to lose track of your customers. You don't want right. to. Right. So, so you need to be in front of them and not, right. not physically exactly. in front of them. Exactly. So you you're, you're trying to practice what you're trying to teach them to do. So if you show them that, how many, how many of us have received an email that says, Due to the COVID-19, we're, we're experiencing an abundance of caution. I mean, even the same bu buzzwords, right? Yeah. Okay, I get it. That's important. And, and once we see that that's how everybody's framing this and shaping this, we, we tend to grab to that. So I'm saying the same thing for, as a marketer. We should be showing our clients how to reach to their top five, top 10, top 20, right? Right, if, exactly. If, if we don't, somebody else will. Right, exactly. And, and then and, they're going to they're going to copy that model instead of Terry Combs model. Sure. And, and so it, this is the approach I would take to, to those great customers. Listen, you don't want to lose, uh, lose contact with your customers. So let, let us do this. Let us send each one of them a survival kit. Maybe it's, yes. got, or maybe it's got a mug. Maybe it's got, you know, and, and kind of like, Hey, we're all in this together. I wanted to send you something to uh, to help you survive the next two weeks or 30 days or whatever. Right, and, right, right. And, okay, and, so let me tell you, I started thinking about this. I have to share this. This, this might be completely crazy, which is perfect. Stupid, <laughs> stupid ideas sometimes are the best ideas. So I was thinking about this from the perspective of a conference survival kit because I, several of the conferences I was going to be speaking at or attending all got postponed. None right. of them have canceled, by the way, which is important to think about. They all got postponed. So I was thinking of a postponement notice, something to help tell the story. Hey, we're not going away forever. We're just going to take a pause. We'll be back in August, September, October, whatever. But here's the crazy idea. So as we know, toilet paper is a premium right now. So imagine if you had custom branded <laughs> pens or pencils and you, you take a few of your rolls of toilet paper and just wrap like six or seven or eight or ten sheets <laughs> put, I love put, it. <laughs> put in a printed towel or a printed shirt, something that you, you you have on hand, and mail that to your top five or top ten, you know, or drop it off, whatever's more appropriate, and let them let them kind of sink in on that. And what are the chances that they're going to do that? Is brilliant. And maybe you even write something on one of the squares of 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 that toilet paper to say, "Marketing matters," or <laughs> "I I got your back." Okay, that's where I'm going to end it. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, yeah. Right? You're trying, yeah. To, you're trying to break through and make a moment and be re remembered for the right thing, which is yeah. marketing, in an appropriate way. And I love your idea of, 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 a, of a survival kit, a conference survival kit, or a business survival kit. But, we as, but we as DTG decorators or sublimation decorators or, or decorators that can do individual parts, maybe you do cut vinyl or something like that, you, you can make it... Uh, I'm going to tell my customer, I'm going to send it to your customer, but it's going to be customized to them. It's going to be their company name yep, uh, from exactly. you. And gosh, the, and then of course, any of these ideas, by the way, it, when times are good again, and, and, and hopefully in two weeks or four weeks, then you, you can still do these types of things. And a hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. And, and so, and everybody that's listening is going to experience some ups and some downs. And, and of course, we're all trying to, we're all trending a little down right now. Somebody, somebody just typed in and said, you know, we, we were, we were smooth for six months, really up until yesterday. Right. And so maybe that's for some of us, it was a week ago. For some of you, it might be next week. For some of you, it started today. Don't panic. Don't panic. Right. It's uncomfortable. It's the new normal and it's going to be this way for 30, 40, maybe 50 days, 60 days. We have to trick our brain into, into thinking, even when we look at our bank account, it's okay. I'm going to make this, I'm going to make it through 20% of the herd's going to get thinned out and that's not going to be me because I'm going to invest in me and my marketing ideas. And I'm going to go focus right now on my customers or I'm going to go find new customers. You know, Jay, and, and those 20%, they're not the folks who are listening right now because That's that true. 20%, they're sitting on their hands and, uh, and you know, they're, they're rocking in the corner 
uh, hoping for it to all end. Well, people who are here, who people who are here, they're 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 here because hey, what can I do right. to to uh, to power through? Right, so. they're hungry. They're hungry. Well, well, you told us about survival packs, and I gave you my twisted version. So what else? What else? What can well, we do I, to? I, I would I would reach out to people and say, hey, let's you know, in these trying times, let let's promote and 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 support local businesses like mine, and and uh, and then you go on to explain how you can print and deliver goods in a, in a safe manner mm-hmm. for uh, for them to, and, and you know, maybe again, we're going to cut out the middleman. Uh, in the past, I printed these and delivered them to you, and then you delivered them off to your customer. Uh, let me take that step out for you. I'll take care of this for you. But, but uh, you know, you can still be, you know, people are still buying t-shirts. People are still buying coffee mugs. People are still buying, you know, all the products we sell uh, for the most part. And, you know, uh, we, can, we can help to facilitate getting those products from, from manufacturer and getting them to the final customer for our customer. I love that point. I also started thinking about, I was listening to you. I started thinking about, each one of these ideas, if you execute the idea and you don't see an immediate sale, that does not mean that the idea failed or that the marketing failed. It means that the buyer didn't pull the trigger. They weren't emotionally convicted yet. Okay. Right. But they're going to remember you. They're going to remember that you reached out. They're going to see your creativity. And so that's why I say, step on the gas a little bit. Don't pump the brake right now, step on the gas cautiously and up your marketing. And, and to your point, just like you said, supporting local businesses, I've seen so many great examples of that. And I'm sure you have too, like our friend, Brett Bowden at printed threads, right? Brett, Brett uses a lot of online tools and he was able to create some stores and he created a, a focused fundraiser for each business. So right. his idea was, I'm going to help you sell your own merch your own branded merch for your own band, church, store, club, brew pub, you know, whatever. You sell 50 of those. And for every one of those you sell to your clients, you're going to get 10 bucks back. Meaning he's going to facilitate the whole thing from end to end and cut them in as a partner and give them 10 bucks back. Right. And, and, uh, and and he is the perfect example. Uh, Brett's a a great, decorator down in uh, Fort Worth. And uh, Brett is, is a big printer for, for the Mavericks, uh, he, the NBA. And guess what? Uh, all that business Done. is gone. All that business yeah. is gone right now. So what did he do? Did he sit in the corner and rock? No, he came well, up with maybe Maybe for 10 minutes. But. <laughs> possibly, possibly. But he got the call. Hey, that order for 50,000 shirts, yeah, we need to hold on that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and his shop is, is of a size. Imagine this. Um, you know, I'm, he has shared with me some, some things I'm not going to share here, but he has a big, he has a, he has a lot of overhead. That's what I'll say. Right. So he's in a different position, both from a stress factor and from a future opportunity factor. That's what I mean by everybody's a little bit different on this, on this ladder. And just because you're larger doesn't mean you're better off because you have higher overhead. You have a higher uh, uh, you know, more employees, more, more equipment, more overhead, et cetera. So anyway, right. my, my point is he's not rocking. You were right. He had that <laughs> moment. I'm sure he did, but he's out there. He repivoted. He pivoted to say, I want to help small businesses make it through this. His favorite beer, his favorite brand. You know, I think they were doing a uh, grab a growler drive up service. And when everybody drove up, they surprised them with a free apparel item. Yeah. Exactly. You know, so he, he was able to keep the presses running. Don't stop the presses, right? I've heard Ryan Moore and the guys at Rock talking all about that for the last couple of weeks. Keep the presses running. Don't stop the presses. How can we do that? So, well, and you know, Brett's brilliant idea, though, was, was it's a one, two, three step process. And we, we'll create the graphic. We'll create the store for you to sell it. You don't pay anything. It's nothing out of your pocket. So if, if you're rocking in the corner and I don't know what I'm going to do, well, here's a deal where That's it right. doesn't cost you anything. And after the That's first right. 50 shirts, then you get 10 bucks for, for every shirt that's sold after that. So it, it is a win-win for anybody out there. And, 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 and anybody listening, anybody listening doesn't have to be 50 shirts. His overhead's higher. So he's screen printing manually. Right. So he has... He, you don't have to do that with a DTG. Yeah, a DTG printer. operator. Remind, remind, 
you can give them but 10 bucks on the first shirt. <laughs> ding, ding. That's what I was just going to say. You beat me to it because you're so smart and wise and older <laughs> and you've been through this. It, it's veteran. It's not older. Oh, oh sorry. Ah, I screw that up every time. I'm sorry. Um, okay. So what, what more? You, you've got a long list. We, we, we you kind know, of game plan. What else is on? Let, let me, let me tell you how I, I, when I'm trying to think of, of marketing ideas or any ideas, if I've got this simple thing that I do and I sit down with my junior uh, yellow legal pad and, uh, and I have, well, that's some high tech pad right there. That's a high tech pad. <laughs> Well, when, when the internet goes down at the next zombie apocalypse, all my notes are written down. But, <laughs> but I mean, this is, maybe it sounds like a silly thing, but it really works for me. And I've, I've done it for years. I'll sit down and, and, and say, okay, how can I get in front of customers without physically getting in front of cu customers? And I'm going to number one through 20, and I'm going to write an idea down. And, and I can't get up until I write 20 ideas down. And that means... That, that may be the first five are really stupid, <laughs> but somewhere in that list, all of a sudden your, your mind is going and the juices are flowing. All of a sudden it's bang. There's the idea. Yeah. And I, I literally do that uh, on a regular basis. I'll, I'll sit and go, man, what, you know, what, what's uh, what's the next, you know, what's going to improve my classes, my screen printing classes. And I'll sit down and I'll write 20 ideas to make my classes better. And, you know, somewhere around number 11, I'm like, man, that, that is a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I love your approach. I do similar. I, I, I happen to use a laptop instead of the, the junior legal pad, but I do the same thing. And what I find is that I'll come up with a hybrid of, of one or two of those ideas and I sure. can kind of mash them together and come up with a concept. So specific to DTG printing, specific to helping those of the 41 people, by the way, live right now that have tuned in, woo, the gifted, <laughs> the hungry, thank you for doing this. And I exactly. know that we're, we're treating this seriously. We want to see you succeed with sure. one of these ideas or, or a version, your version of one of these ideas so that you can keep the presses rolling. Um, but to, to find that hybrid idea, right? And, and I think if I could build on that for just a second, when you're writing those 20 marketing ideas down or 10 or whatever that number is, and you're thinking about how can I get in front of a client without actually physically getting there, that's never been more important, right? Right, right, exactly. So right. Is Amazon still open? Yeah, is the, is the mail, is it UPS? Yep, 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 FedEx. They're, in fact, they're going to be more critical now than ever. Sure. Their stock's probably all going look, up. Look at Amazon. They, they're hiring 100,000 new employees for, for, because people don't leave the house. But, yep. but there's a yep. way to get to those people. How, Terry? How? How do we get them? Well, you know, uh, <laughs> some of the ideas we've already talked about. Oh, you know? oh, oh okay, okay, okay. So direct mail is going to be critical. So yeah. here's, here's one thing. Um, for those of you who are graphically inclined, who have Illustrator, who have CorelDRAW, who have, I don't care what, I don't, as long as it's not PowerPoint, but if even you have Canva, something, something that or you word. can create no, a theme. No word graphics. <laughs> yes, yeah. No, but think forward, think forward 30 days, 45 days. Do they have a birthday coming up? Will, they, will, their, will their business be celebrating an anniversary? What's on the calendar that's coming up? You know, could we start talking about a barbecue for summer or 4th of July celebration? Yes. And so why not start mocking up those ideas now? Hey, I know the last thing on your mind is probably the 4th of July, but guess what? Guess what's going to happen on the 4th of July? We're yeah. going to have the 4th of July and everybody's going to want a few shirts, even if it's a smaller number, even if it's a tighter group. Maybe, maybe it isn't 100 pieces and maybe it's only 20 pieces. You're going to want those 20 pieces. So right. position yourself to be thinking ahead of that entire transaction, how to get in front of the marketing idea in front of the calendar without having to actually say hi to the client and then follow up with them and say, Hey, I sent you something. Did you get it? Yeah. What do you exactly mean you sent right. me something? Make sure they got it. Don't wait, be proactive. Right. Well, and, and that's a phone call that, you know, most of us don't like to cold call. Nobody wants, and nobody wants to get that call. Hey, do you want to buy a shirt? But they, they don't mind getting a call saying, Hey, did you see what I sent to you? You know? It's, right. It's, it's totally changes the perspective of the call. And I was, I was doing a little bit of market research, thinking about these things. What's happening two months from now? What's happening three months from now? What's happening four months from now? Assume that you're going to make it focus. Like you're going to make it treat your clients the same way and have something positive to talk about rather than just spiraling down and shaking in the corner. Like we were joking about earlier. <laughs> right. So as business gets back up, what, what typically happens, what happened after nine 11? Now 
before we go, I want, I want to talk for a minute here in just a second. Don't, don't let me forget about this because I know you have some important information about the we made it shirts or the we survived shirts. Those are, we have to be careful about those. Let's talk about those in a minute. But we will come out of this and there will be probably a surge. Is that, at exactly, least I, right. I saw that. I saw that after 9-11 and I experienced it myself after 2008, 2009. Right, you know, and and you know, some business is, is probably going to be gone. Uh, uh, maybe maybe part of your business is is softball shirts, and and you know, there's a good chance that maybe that season might be canceled. But a lot of your customers are are not that that person. They're they're maybe sitting and waiting, but they're still they still need that product. They're still going to be there um, wanting that product a little later on. So what's going to happen to all of us? We're going to just be inundated with, with business here in, in 30 days or 45 days. So, right. you know, what are you going to do to prepare to do that, to handle I, that business? I, I think that's super important. If you're extremely cautious I'm sh and you're listening to this, some of these ideas are probably making you go, yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. I, I'm, I'm not trying to convince you. Okay. But here's what I know. If you're hungry and you take a little risk now, the payoff for the future, that benefit is magnified times 10. So right. it's worthy of your time to listen to some of these ideas. Take a little bit of a risk now because that softball team that you just mentioned that canceled the season, guess what? They still have a budget. They didn't spend the money. Right. They're trying to figure out what to do next. And so a creative mind would say, hey, I'm trying to find like-minded business owners. And if that softball commission, committee, parent, organization however they're managed they they might be willing to give you a deposit to get started now for something in the fall or a survival kit for softball or you know you got to start thinking through this in a more critical way how could i if i can't get the whole order now how can i get some of it now how can i get some of the budget now if i can't get a thousand dollar order can i get a hundred dollar order times 10 orders right well, Jay, you, you were you were talking before we went on the air about about ESPN and and some of the things that that people were doing to recognize seniors. Why don't you talk a little about that? Yeah, caught my eye is another opportunity. You know, ESPN. Imagine that all sports in the United States are off, all of them, <laughs> all canceled. Think about ESPN right now. What are we going to yeah. do? I don't know. You think you have problems? <laughs> yeah, we're going to interview people. Everybody's calling in. Everybody's on Skype or or, or Zoom or something like this. But the, one of the things that Scott Van Pelt started doing uh, on the Sports Center was he started showing Senior Night, what's called Senior Night. Senior Night, for those of you who aren't sports freaks, uh, typically if it's if it's a, if it's football, baseball, basketball, any sport, any sport, every sport at the at the high school level and at the collegiate level, they'll typically have a night where they honor and celebrate the seniors who are graduating because this will be their last season. So imagine if you were a senior and your season just got cut, just got canceled. There's no golf. There's no, you know, basketball tournament. March Madness was cut. I know that crushed you. You can't watch Canvas. Kansas isn't going to go to the championship this year, buddy. Because nobody It's in my heart. <laughs> Rock, chalk, nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> my point was, there's a way for us to look at this as a marketer, as an opportunity. Can I call the coaches? Could we come up with something special to recognize and acknowledge those seniors? So instead of maybe a hundred piece order, maybe you're only going to have eight, but how special are those eight going to be? How memorable is that moment going to be for the coach, for the family, for the participants? And you facilitated that. Your, your marketing moment was there. You made a difference in the lives of people who were pretty bummed out that they didn't even get to play, right? Right, exactly so right. I was just thinking about that thought maybe there's an opportunity there. Seniors who didn't get to play, who didn't get to compete, you know, they're kind of bummed out. What, what can we do different? You know, they had three. And, and, and maybe, maybe uh, it's what I just said. Maybe it's the team name and champions in our hearts, you know? Perfect. Uh, and, you know, and, and, and sometimes, yes, this is a very serious situation, but sometimes you have to laugh too. And, and, and I have to give you an example. Uh, I believe it was yesterday, Pacer Inc., they had uh, a post on Twitter and the, the headline was NCAA national championship team. And you, you look at the picture and it's the guy standing there in a plain white t-shirt. 
Well, <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty darn clever. <laughs> that's really clever. These are the times for clever. This exactly. is when we don't want to lose sight of our, our personalities, um, our our drive, our creativity. And you're right. There is a space to be sensitive. We need to be aware. People are there. Are people suffering? Some people have passed, and and that's obviously sad and tragic. So uh, let that. This is a good time to circle back to what I said about 20 minutes ago, which is. We need to be careful about the we survived shirts because right. for some people that's kind of a trigger that, you know, maybe, maybe one of their family members did not survive. So look for ways to phrase that in a way that's a little less um, triggering. I don't even like use that word because I think it's politicized, but do you know what I mean, Terry, where there's an opportunity to still say we made it without right. being insensitive to somebody who maybe didn't. Yeah, exactly. Right. And, and, you know, there's also the the whole concept of of uh, you know what else can I do in my shop? What else could I you know we we've slowed down, but maybe maybe it's time to experiment with new substrates, new technologies. And and uh, you, you've ever been in a situation where you're you're like, gosh, I just I wish I had you know somebody else say, hey, do you do this? Do you do that? I never I don't have time to to mess yeah. with it. Well, guess what? Maybe you have time right now. May, have you ever tried to to put glitter on a DTG shirt? Because you can. And so, you know, go wait, to- go Wait, to, what? You can? Yeah, absolutely. Put your, okay, time out. You just, there are probably 30 people listening right now that went, what? How? <laughs> okay, Tell us how. Give us a here, one here's, minute. Here's the way to do it. It's, uh, you're going to print, uh, even if it's on a light shirt, you're going to print a white underbase, have a nice thick lay, uh, lay down of ink. You're going to mm -hmm. print your image on top and you're going to go to Michael's and, uh, or have the, Amazon send it to you, Skynet send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> because when the machines take over, it's going to be Amazon. <laughs> oh, Amazon. Yeah. So you're going to, while it's still wet, you're going to sprinkle glitter on there and then you're going to heat press it. And then make sure you have your trash can right there and, uh, and you're going to shake it off and, and you'll have glitter in do, your press. Do, do you sing the song from shake it off, shake it off? No. You, you could do that or, or maybe something hey, from Peter Pan. I know you're a Swifty. I know you're a Taylor <laughs> Swifty, Terry. Don't, don't act like you're not. Well, I will tell you, if you do this in your shop, it's going to look like Kesha's bathroom. I mean, there's going to be glitter. <laughs> okay, now there are people who are like, Kesh? Ketchup? Who's ketchup? Kesha. No, Kesha. Kesha. The dollar sign. Yeah, look, don't. Yeah, anyway. Okay. Th that, I love that. A great idea. You reminded me of something. Um, that's funny. Okay. And it's appropriate because you're trying to create a moment with a technique that maybe you've been putting off for a while, exactly. right? So use the time wisely. Can you use foil? You can, you can. And now is it, is it going to work as well as, as screen printing a foil adhesive on a shirt? It's not. Is it going to work as well as, as some of the, some of the new uh, vinyl? It's not, but uh, yes, again, you'll probably do a double lay, a lay down of white ink and, um, and you're going to, you're going to cure that. And then you're going to put the foil on and and uh, heat press it and peel it away and cool. and you'll have a foil shirt. You know, ideally, uh, I would do that as you know, you can anybody who's printed with foil, you crumple it up and uh, and and then apply it, and then it has more of an antique look about it. And so the breaks and 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 uh, that that the sh the color of the ink showing through right is not uh, well. It looks like it's supposed to be that way. Right, so. exactly. It was planned. It was yeah. it was uh, an appropriate distressed moment. Yeah, and and you know what? Write down twenty ideas about <laughs> about different <laughs> decoration techniques that you could that you could think of. And, okay, and, so one of the bullet points that I had was for everybody that's listening, that's a DTG owner, which I hope are all of you. Um, I also hope that you invested in your accessories and that maybe you have a hat attachment. This one would not be printable, but that maybe you have one and a, and a stack of hats that you've been thinking about. Or maybe you saw one of our technicians or somebody on our, on our team that was printing shoes. Every time we print those high tops, we have a crowd. Right. Okay. That's all the info I needed for my brain to go, okay, oh my, OMG. T, oh my tacos, Terry. If you want to show your marketing skills, print two shoes, but send one and then create something around the, the, the hook. Hey, just trying to get my foot in the door. I know that's cliche, but brilliant. And print something for them, not for you. 
print their logo or their yeah, not theme. Not your logo. Don't, nobody wants to. No, 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 no. Nobody's going to want to wear shoes with my logo on it. But, but they will. They will. And, and, and the point of the shoe is not even to wear it. I mean, if, if they do, great, great. But the point of the shoe is that it's almost like a trophy. It's like an award. It's like a commemorative piece. Ah, look at these shoes. And every time we do that at a trade show or when we're doing a training event, I'm not exaggerating. When people offer to buy them. You know that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, but in your promotion, uh, yes, you send them one shoe. But give me a call and let me get that other shoe. That's in right. Let's talk about your needs. I've got the other shoe. I'm holding it hostage until we talk. And be transparent. Be funny. Let your personality shine. Yeah. I mean, if I can be corny, you can be too. We all are to that degree. So all of these types of ideas that we start to peel out and you think about the, the accessories that you have and how can I print hats? How can I print shoes? How can I print a hoodie in a different way with a different technique? I'm so glad you brought that up because that's part of executing the great marketing idea is to make sure that you've got the production to back it up. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. Well, well was there anything else on your list that you wanted to bring up? Well, you know, I, I, I just wanted to mention it and, and I've seen a lot of people posting this on the internet. So this is a new idea, but it's a good idea. Uh, it, you know, take a look at your shop. It's time to clean up, reorganize, update your shop. And, and is it creating revenue for you today to do that? It's not, but, it might create rev revenue tomorrow, but because you're going to become more efficient, uh, better at what you do, uh, you know, take a look at your, at your workflow. Maybe this is the time to, you know, to, to re reorganize and move heat presses and, and, uh, and make yourself more productive. Maybe this is the time to put in that shelving that, that, that you bought and it's still in the back of the shop, you know, so uh, it, it'll all be well worth it in the end. We, you know, we, we all tend to let, all those types of things slide. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, it, right. now's the opportunity, you know, yes, I, it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna pay your employees, but maybe it will help you keep them employed and, uh, and, and make for a better production shop. Reorganizing your shop, uh, getting lean, cleaning out. Those are all things that this is good. That's good use of your time. Um, I, I suspect there are a lot of folks listening that are that are one or two person shop. You know, we, we, we have a lot of clients that are sure. a, a small or micro size business. So for them, they don't have to worry too much about, you know, a big staff, but if you have staff keeping them busy, keeping them, you know, like, like what you had said, Pete said this morning on your, on your um, two regular guys podcast about creating the culture. Um, you know, your, your employees are worried if you have them, they're, right. they're freaking out too a little bit. So communicate, Hey, we're going to work on some marketing ideas, incorporate that into the culture. I need your help. I need you to help me. If you see a great idea, this is going to help us keep going. This is going to help keep the doors open. So it's a team effort. And I think that it's important to communicate and be a little bit more honest with folks and say, Hey, I'm not going to share with you necessarily, you know, my bottom line books, but I am going to share with you that these are some lean times. And I might, instead of full time, you know, you might, I might need to have you Take, take a day off here or there. And, and, but instead of just saying goodbye, say, help, help us. Do you have a strategy? Have you seen anything? What, what would make your, what would make the needle move for you? You know? So I don't know, maybe I got off on a tangent there, but I think it's important as you reorganize, as you look for those opportunities. And if you have staff to include them, to communicate with them, I know that's a given for some, but you guys, I got to tell you, you know, we're not, we're not always the best at communicating. So maybe this right. is a public service announcement is to, you know, if there's ever a time to be a little bit more transparent and communicate, now's the time. Well, and if you think that by telling your employees that, okay, things are tight, uh, that's going to worry them, uh, the, they're worried already. Right. So exactly. telling, telling them the truth about where you stand right now is uh, that, that's going to help them sleep a little better at night, I think. And, and knowing that, listen, before, before anybody gets laid off, uh, you, you're right. Maybe, maybe we're going to, we're going to cut back to 35 hours a week or, or 30 hours a week, but you know, I'm going to. And, inc and include them in the marketing process, include right. them in the idea stage of, Hey, here's my list of 20 ideas. I got a homework assignment for you. I need, I need 20 ideas by tomorrow of ways we can promote our business during these times in an appropriate way, that's going to make us stand out, be memorable, be different, um, you know, capture people's attention. They might, they might be sitting on a gold mine. You don't know. Right. And, and, and nobody knows more about, uh, you know, the, the operation of your business than your employees. So, and, and maybe it's this, you know, who are five people 
out there that we could do samples for? Maybe, maybe your, your mother-in-law uh, is with this company here. Let, let us print a sample. You, you give it to her and, uh, and uh, help us possibly uh, create you know, a, a new market, a new customer. Yeah, I love that. Exactly. Um, and, and it helps, it helps bring the fear back down. It helps bring that, you know, it helps establish some order, some, something that, you know, we all need a little structure right now. So we all right. need some order. Um, okay. We're, we're kind of at that 45 minute mark. So are there any other opportunities, any other things you want to talk? We want to transition. I know we talked a little bit about smart money and we talked about, okay, this is where this is where it goes from good idea to who this is going to take a, a leap of faith for some but we wanted to talk about this because it's a reality sure. having having worked through the 911 issue having worked through a pretty big recession and maybe maybe you've had other personal issues or other you know setbacks but you worked through them and things do restore order does come back people do want apparel and they want to commemorate and they want those memories to be printed right? We have D2G right. printers, the power of one baby. So, but, but what can we do, Terry, to prepare a little bit for 60 days from now, 45 days from now? Well, what would, what would you do if you were sitting on some cash, which a lot of people are because they're worried and they sat and they stopped, what, right. what would you do? Well, and you know, there are people running around, like I said before, with the hair on fire and just running around in circles. Uh, but, but smart people, smart DTG owners, uh, they're looking at the situation and, and saying, okay, where's the hidden opportunity here? And, and I, I may have mentioned this already. I, I, I took my entire 401k contribution that I was prepared to, uh, you know, over the year uh, invest. Well, I, I invested every penny of it. And people are saying, you know, the stock market's, you know, plummeting. It's, it's chaos. I thought, well, yeah, it's plummeting. That's, uh, I'm, that's why I'm buying because it's going back up. The stock market will rebound and, and, and probably fairly soon. And, and, and I will have made a, a lot of money on that. And, and so is the industry. The industry, people, it, it's not like the coronavirus is causing people to never, ever want to buy a t-shirt again, <laughs> to never, ever nope. buy a hat, never, ever buy a, a sweatshirt. Nope. So, you know, so maybe there's opportunities here because there are you know, the, the manufacturers, the, the, the t-shirt folks, the, the, the supplies, you know, they're, they're feeling a crunch too. And, yeah, and I've seen definitely. a lot of people advertising 10% off on any order. Well, stock up because business is going to come back. Um, you know, it what's, what's going to happen when you hit that rush, those people are going to, uh, to suddenly come to you and, and, and say, well, you know, we waited and now it's a rush order. So are, how are you going to meet that, 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 additional capacity how are you going to meet that additional capacity because you went out and found new customers and now here come back your old customers so you know maybe maybe it's time to take a look and say you know that's a pretty good deal pretty good price maybe i should buy that equipment or buy those supplies or buy you know uh, maybe sanmar or is having a sale or or any of the those folks and and maybe i should stock up instead of instead of sitting on my hands and sitting on my money maybe, maybe using that money. So to prepare, pre to prepare. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. No, no. Be cautious. Obviously, yeah. obviously we're not saying, you know, <laughs> we're saying be cautious, but we're also saying pay attention. And if, if you took, if you were doing what we said to do at the beginning of this webinar and you were keeping your relationships with your clients, you would have a better vision of what it's going to take for them to come back and what that looks like. And every sector is different housing sector, healthcare, you know, Every sector is different. So that's why there's not a one size fits all. But I love what you said about smart people, smart DTG owners, smart money investors. They're looking for this opportunity. They're trying to figure out when is the right time to pick up that second printer. Because listen, the truth is I'm going to be transparent. And I know Harry's listening, but the reality is the reality. If there are 40 of you that are tuned in right now, which there are um, over 46, thank you again. Um, I'm pretty sure several of you already are most of you are customers there might be a few that are not so that's cool you you already have had a good experience you you've already tested this this is a known quantity in other words it's this it's a printer and it does what exactly what we said it would do and you're getting some success out of it and what you want to figure out is would i be in the position to take advantage of a significant sale or a significant offer and that's true like you said with 
Sanmar with with inks with supplies, but it could also be true with a heat press, with a speed sure. treater, with a garment printer, a second printer. How is that possible? Well, well, look, we've got clients that have two and three and four and five and six printers. They didn't necessarily buy them all at the same time. In fact, most don't. They do it based on the demand, but they also do it based on preparing for the future. Having that vision that says, what is 60 days going to look like for me? And if we're going to come roaring back and everybody's going to want that, you know, I, I made it or whatever the appropriate theme is there, or, you know, summer sports come back or fall sports come to a roar, back to schools, you know, everybody wants more swag now, more branded merch now. We got to you know, be prepared. You know, Jay, uh, I'll give you an example. I, I have a, a really good uh, uh, a customer friend in Ohio that has four Epson F2100s. So he called me a few days ago and did he call to say, hey, uh, when things get better, uh, I'm going to I'm going to buy this. Well, what this was 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 a shoe platen. No, he called and said, hey, this is a really good time for me to experiment printing on shoes. So can you get me a shoe platen right away? Absolutely. So yep. so he, he has four printers and he's he's thinking, what am I going to do to to keep these, these these printers running? Well, my gosh, I'm going to print some shoes, and that's a brilliant idea, by the way, because we don't even we don't even look for great deals on shoes. We pay about twenty three, twenty four dollars for a pair of shoes. Uh, we have customers out there selling those shoes for one hundred and fifty dollars a pair. Easy. So yeah, yeah, easy. So 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 I, I, I'm looking at it like this: if if I were if if January, if we could go back in time, which we can't, but let's pretend we have the perfect time machine. Terry, your your job is to build that, and we <laughs> and, and we go back in that time machine. And, and by the way, I know how you guys time travel now, so let's not talk about that. <laughs> you can travel in time, <laughs> <laughs> but we go back to January when a lot of us thought this is going to be my best year ever. Right, the, the economy was cranking, everybody oh, yeah. was cash flush, business was looking great. Nobody could have predicted this. Well, right. maybe somebody could have, but almost nobody predicted this. And there are a lot of people listening today that were thinking about their second printer. Okay. The reality is the reality. It might seem crazy and risky to invest in one now, but that could be the smartest move now to anticipate what 60 days from now looks like, especially if you were about to do it in January. So this isn't a pitch. This isn't, this isn't us, Terry and I are not trying to convince you to buy anything today. We're trying to help set the stage and give you a reality check that says, oh, you know what? If you could get a printer and if the price was now $1,000 less, <laughs> which it is, um, maybe I should have a second printer and I dedicate that printer to all of these marketing ideas. That that's the whole purpose is that I have somebody that every day is making something purely and specifically to keep that printer running that has a marketing purpose. Right. That, that, that would be a brilliant idea. Because you're investing in you and you're continually showing what's possible. You're continually knocking on that virtual door. You're going to surprise and delight your customers and your future customers with some of these ideas or some variation of these ideas. I just think it's really important that if we didn't have that conversation, we, we would not be treating all of our listeners fairly because you, you can make opportunities work for you right now. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. All right. So anything else, my friend, should we, should we look and see if there's been any questions yeah, I think we're coming, go, uh, coming up on the end of our hour? So let's while take, I go through the chat, I've got uh, Cheryl said tons and tons of emails. Yeah. That was about the COVID-19 policy emails. <laughs> I've, heard, uh, I've heard many people say, okay, we get it. You're, yeah, wash yeah, your thanks. hands. Please stop emailing me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm washing. I'm, as soon as I'm done, even though all I've done is touch this mouse, I'm going to go wash my hands. <laughs> uh, purchased a DTG printer six months ago. We've been busy until sales started to get slow today. Okay, that was the comment we saw. Um, oh my God, you're corny. Who's ketchup? Oh, that was from Amy. Thanks, Amy. Um, <laughs> somebody asked about can we print on foil? Can we use foil for DTG printing, which you've already. Uh, let us know you can try, try the glitter. I mean, that's glitter's cool. Yeah, no doubt about it. Now, when you do, when you, are you glittering the whole thing? Yeah, oh, the entire yeah. design, right? There's no way to just do a portion of it. Correct. I mean, it would. I mean, you know what? Maybe somebody can experiment and figure that out. But, but when we've done it uh, in the past, we just put glitter on the whole shirt. And uh, 
And uh, here's a note from Cheryl. Yeah. I'm liking your ideas, keeping online stores going, but how do we, how do we do this smartly with the orders when some suppliers are now shutting down? I don't want to advertise apparel, get orders and not be able to fulfill them. That's a great point. Well, so who, who do we know that's starting to slow down because of, not because of their own choice, but certain governors or certain states are going to make moves that others we, are not. We do know that California is, is telling everyone to stay home. We know that Pennsylvania, as of this morning, is telling everyone to stay home. So uh, it, here's the beauty, though, the, the, the Sandmars of the world and, and the Alpha Broders of the world, they have locations in other, in other states. And, and so, you know, I, I don't imagine, I'm not picturing Arizona shutting down. And, and that means that you know, the, the, um, the folks at, at Sanmar, where they have a huge facility here in Phoenix. Right, so, right. You know, well, you, that's true. But in certain areas like Seattle, their Sanmar's Seattle office is, is closing or soon to close. And so in certain areas, they're already right. shut down. In other areas, they won't be. So SNS, Sanmar. Um, and, and you know, maybe it's a matter of bringing in some staples. You know, uh, okay, I know, you, I know you need garments. I, I have... You know, these here's three what we have on order, right? Here's, here's what, what we have we in have. stock, and I'd be, I'd be, well. I'd be smart about that. I wouldn't go invest no. massive amounts of money and, and have that inventory because you definitely want to use that cautiously. And and sure. your your capital expenditures right now, and you know, you need to be, make a smart move. We're not saying invest. But here's here's another great thing. It, it's blank. It's not like you've decorated That's right. them. So, That's right. So. And if you're using it for marketing ideas, you're going to be experimenting. You're going to be creative. You might burn through a few. So that's not the end of the world either. Right. Um, besides SNS, Alpha, Sanmar, also check with your local. If you have a local wholesale blank provider, call them up. Ask them. You know, they might also have some closeouts that you could practice on that you could do. You know, if it's a marketing sure. idea, it doesn't have to be. Uh, top level premium brands. Right, right. And, and uh, hey, they're looking, they're looking for opportunity as well. Maybe they'll partner with you on, on some things. Excellent. We got another comment that says, thank you. Thank you for the presentation. We're ready to use some of these ideas. I love that for both DTG and sublimation. Awesome. Ghani, thank you for your comments. Any other questions for Terry? Any other strategy ideas? I'm sure that if you've listened to us in the past, one or two of these ideas we covered before, but we're trying to also present some, some fresh content and and uh you know terry maybe we need to do this again you know not as long but in a week we could come up with two or three new ideas that we've had and share that with this audience um one thing i want to tell everybody before we hang up before we say goodbye is that all of you are going to be included in on a special invitation i'm going to make sure that everybody that listened live this won't go out to everyone because of the 120 people that said they were going to tune in only it looks like we got about 50, which is typically the, we almost right. always get 50%. Um, we're going to send you another, another email. It'll come from me directly and I'll copy Terry on it. And we'll have a new link for a new webinar on Monday because we want to put a couple of these ideas into practice. And Jeff Morgenthaler, our colleague has um, willingly is going to break out of his house drive to the office and he's going to be printing live on Monday at the, at the, about the same time. We're not sure if it's 10 or 11 um, in the morning here in, here in Arizona, which would be one or two on the East coast. We'll make sure you have the appropriate time and the appropriate link. All of you are invited, but only you are invited. So this is one way that we could show you a couple of special ideas. And of course, Jeff's going to talk about profit and he's going to talk about costs and he's going to talk about pricing and he's going to tease you with, something that's going on. Um, he's got uh, ideas for you. He's got um, all of that, all of that in store for you on, on, on Monday. And I didn't forget, Amy, for all of you who are a little bit more focused on sublimation or want to figure out what your next move might be for sublimation, we also have a sublimation webinar that was already in place prior to this. We've been, we've been working on this for about four weeks, almost for sure, three weeks. Um, so don't forget March 26th, uh, there's information on our website. If you have any questions, you're welcome to email me uh, or email Amy. Amy and I are going to help us. We're going to get we're going to get a sublimation uh, a webinar off the ground on the 26th. So uh, stay tuned to our website. Stay tuned to our emails and anything else before we go, Terry. I think that uh, if you have questions along the way, don't hesitate to reach out to us at, at Equipment Zone. And Jay, myself, anybody at Equipment Zone is happy to uh, to give you whatever advice we can. 
What's the best way for people to reach you, Terry? Uh, Terry at equipmentzone.com would be the easiest way, or you can call the office at 800-408-0040, and they'll forward that to me because Jay and I live in sunny Phoenix, not uh, not uh, New Jersey, where the corporate office is. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you almost said something there. <laughs> Okay. Well, we appreciate it. New Jersey's it. awesome, man. Come on. New Jersey is awesome. You're welcome, everybody who's saying thank you. You're welcome. Uh, we appreciate it. And uh, for now, goodbye. And we hope to connect with you soon. Um, carry on, all of you great marketers. Um, I want to close with this last idea, which was a phrase from Seth Godin. Seth Godin is my marketing mentor. Um, I, I, I strongly suggest that you dedicate yourself to find somebody that you really resonate with. It's a marketing type guru that writes books, that does podcasts, that, that has web webinars. Seth happens to be the guy for me. And he says, marketing to him is the following phrase. People like us do things like this. And his point is to serve the smallest viable market. There are people that are going to fall in love with you and your ideas and your service. You don't have to please everybody, but you have to nail that core group that's going to be your tribe your audience so people like us do things like this who are those people that's what you've got to figure out and what will they buy hopefully a lot of printed and decorated apparel so for now terry i'm signing off all right goodbye everyone yeah can you see me now <laughs>